I've just basically got a video response on my other videos um, and God and the Big Bang bullshit that God doesn't exist and the Big Bang is a crap theory and I can't explain it very well and um, I've actually got a, a, a received a video response mm -hmm. um, obviously by a religious person in a sense um, the, the title of the video is Who Created God? I Do Not Believe in God well and it's got some Islamic text and YouTube 3, um, FLV, YouTube 2. Okay, and what I'm going to say is, it's human beings that created God. Because they covered up the truth of certain things. Um, you mentioned that um, about Allah. Allah is actually another word of Eloha. Eloha is, means those that come from the stars. In other words, those that come from the stars are space people, star people, um, extraterrestrials. I'm going to go step to step through your video and briefly explain things through. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be unto you. This is Taylor once again. Today, I will talk about a weird topic. You know, there are so many weird things in life. But, you know what is the weirdest? When you hear someone saying, I don't believe in God. Why don't you believe in God? I've never seen God. I've well, never done you say you've seen one of the weirdest things. Well, I am one of the weirdest things you've actually met, actually. I'm an extraterrestrial hybrid. Mm. So, what I'm going to do is, and you mentioned in the video, um, a belief in God. See, the thing is, um, you, you, a belief does not explain um, the evidence, or, or except you're basically running on all the magic. You're running on faith. You don't think um, you actually believe in something because you're told to believe. Ever seen your soul? My soul? No. Have you ever touched your soul? No. According to your logic, you don't have a soul because you have never touched your soul and you have never seen it. That's wrong when you said that God doesn't exist because you have never seen him. We have never seen God, but we know he exists by his signs. Look at the stars, the moon, the sun. Who created and designed? If anybody's seen a soul? Um, the thing is, it's impossible to see a soul, literally, um, well, figuratively. Soul is actually one's consciousness. Well, soul is basically a mystical interpretation of one's consciousness. Um, a consciousness is basically your software, your operating system, um, like on the computer. The only way you actually see your operating system is through the computer screen. But we don't walk around with screens on our heads or out of our backs or something, so no one can really see the consciousness. So, but or the soul, but one can actually experience other people's consciousness by the, the way they um, interact with other people in life. So you, you, you can't, it's not really tangible because it's virtual, like software. Your brain is basically what houses the, the consciousness, and the consciousness is basically the, the inner workings, um, the software actually. And it can actually be stored in the DNA. Okay. The thing is, when one person dies, the consciousness does not leave the body, it stays in the head, and the only way to actually live on is to actually transfer it um, from the brain into another per another body, or if or a computer, or a robot, or something like that. It's the only way to actually have eternal life, in a sense, um, because this whole mystical thing about when one dies, uh, the co consciousness, what you call this, or misinterpreted as the soul, just basically stays in the cells and slowly deteriorates um, as the body, you know, dies and all that. You know, while it's in the, buried under the ground, unless you cremate it, then, then your consciousness is instantly destroyed like that. Oh, that's your burning in hell <laughs> for you. <laughs> universe. Anyway, I don't believe in God. So who created the moon, the sun, universe, everything? Who? The Big Bang evolution, it was all caused naturally. It just was accident. Do you really believe that everything was created by accident yeah. naturally? Before the universe is neither created nor destroyed. It is cyclic, it's a life cycle. It's been going on through infinity. And there's no entity, what you call God, that's created the universe. And the thing is, there's not one universe, there's billions of universes within another universe. And that universe is uh, next to billions of universes, more than billions actually, um, infinite number of universes, and a large infinite number of universes, and then that in universe is in an infinite, that universe is in an infinitely large universe, and so it goes on through in infinity, which is actually uh, represented by this one I've got around my neck, 
the symbol of infinity. As above, so below, and everything cyclic. It kind of puts, gets exp it explains that the universe is only a finite point of existence in infinity. And it's entirely impossible for one creator to create entire infinity. You know, it's, it's impossible for a, an entity. And then you go on about saying this entity is actually him, a male. Typical. <laughs> it's typical of your your your, your religion. The other thing is, there never was a big bang. Um, the science on this planet is rather backward. Um, the thing is, the universe is infinite and it's continuously recycling itself. And the universe just didn't happen on a big bang. And seriously, what other people, scientists, don't realize is that photons have mass. And this has been proved by an experiment that the photon can be accelerated faster than itself, and it can be decelerated faster than itself. And anything that is capable of decelerating and accelerating has properties of mass. So, and then photons are the known as smallest bosons. It's smaller than that particle the scientists claim to be the Higgs boson, which is not actually the actual Higgs boson, which is in theory. This is another particle they found, which I would say is a graviton, and there's a possibility that, well, I, I feel from memory that there's a graviton A and a graviton B. So, let me tell you what happened to me. And believe me, this happened. One time. I wanted to go to my friend's wedding, and the place of the wedding was so far from my house. And I was so late, I didn't have a car, and there was no taxi because it was so late. So I was desperate, and I set out on my own. Suddenly, I saw some pieces of steel moving and coming together by themselves. And I saw the engine moving toward these pieces of steel, and they became a car. Then I dropped... This is such a bad story. Sorry, I don't believe you. Why? Are you kidding me? It's not true. Why not? It was an accident, naturally. No, it's impossible. How could pieces of steel make car themselves forming together on its own is absolutely nonsense. You are lying. The only way for that to actually be possible is if the car was made of tiny, tiny little nanobots, and then it could turn itself into a transformer. It could turn itself into a plane. It could turn itself into spaceship and so on and so forth, like the TARDIS or whatever. Um, seriously, your, your story about that, how can you actually try and prove yourself when you're actually telling a lie? Come together to help one another to create a fly. We will never create it. You know why? Because we are only human. And you say that no one is able to would be able to create a fly? <laughs> Seriously, what if you can actually create a fly with bioengineering uh, from scratch, or you create your own celled organisms. And you create your own little evolutionary process and design where you actually um, let go work on, you use bits uh, from that organism, you get other organism bits, and then you'll be able to make a fly. <laughs> created by extraterrestrials, not just one specific um, ethnic origin of extraterrestrials, but a whole variety of scientists and artists, and they are human beings. And seriously, you cannot rely on text from a book, um, that's just running on automatic, that's not thinking. You need to think, and I have something to say, that a universe, well, a book cannot explain the universe, or even all the books on this planet cannot explain this universe, or even this galaxy alone. But the universe has many books, and that's just one universe. And there's many universes which go on through infinity above and infinity below, and then even this long, um, this level of, of existence of infinity. Um, seriously, <laughs> quoting the Quran like a mindless parrot is just damn so stupid. They think out of the box, things out of the book. You know, being being forcing yourself what to think limits your intelligence. It devolves your consciousness. 
Um, I'm sorry to say, but you actually limit yourself and your thinking by following a book. You know, think. Um, as my friend Bionic says, don't run an automatic think. Think out of the book. The, the, the vast universe out there, the book universe has many books, but that book alone does not explain the universe. Seriously. And I, basically, that little bit of words you've quoted out of the Quran, um, seriously, the thing is, <laughs> there's more than one gender or sex. I was born hermaphrodite, intersex. <laughs> well, that, well, that is actually proved wrong over there. And the thing is, um, Allah means Eloha, and seriously, and there's there's many Elohim, many extraterrestrials that were involved. I don't know why this one person gets all the credit for everything. Seriously, I think it's just just not fair. It's like Bill Gates gets the credit of Microsoft and Windows, you know, despite all the people that, that did a lot of work for him. And that's a problem that I'm a bit upset with Yahweh, you know, a little bit. He gets all the credit with the help of anybody else. This is why I don't like male people, because they tend to claim everything as their own and all that. No, seriously, I think this, this is why... Um, your history is fucked up, seriously. This is why your your texts and the text from the history and all that is screwed up. Seriously. Um, I don't know this video is just... <laughs> He begets not, nor was he begotten. That's why we're saying God. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. And I bear witness that Jesus is the slave of Allah and his messenger. Thanks for spending your time to watch this video, and I do apologize if I said anything wrong. Until next time, peace be unto you. Salam anyway, um, there's no point trying to convert an extraterrestrial to Islam. Seriously. Um, anyway, um, the way you say peace, you don't really mean peace. You don't understand peace. That's my opinion. Anyway. Much love, and I just hope you'll wake up to the matrix of religion and the way people have forced and tried to control you on what to think and not how to think. Much love, and Namaste.